Alex stood his ground against an opponent on its face. He has certainly gotten stronger. That last fight was something, all right. A werewolf! Here! Of all places! His name is John Talban, a hybrid of human and lichen blood. An interesting man indeed, but a bit of a brute. I had tussled with a certain cat lady. Just when I was about to end it, he came between us and said, Hurt her again, and I'll rip out your pancreas. <laughs> Creative. Oh, shut up. Do you have any slightest awareness of why you're vexing us right now? I'm merely scouting around the arena with my gentleman escort. After all, if Tal Bane has shown his fangs here, something is truly amiss. You do have a point, Morgan. But the Illuminati are not to be trifled with. Those fanatics? <laughs> Believe they are the least in my interest. There's a dark force lurking here. Dark force? Yes, I don't know who it is or what it is. But its presence has remained like a breeze in the wind. You did well, Alex. But you were a little on the reckless side. I'll say. The hell's that supposed to mean? Just that despite the surprise you got out there, you pulled through. <laughs> Do you have a death wish or something? Oh, great. Here comes the annoying fangirl. Uh, Buki, maybe you should calm down. I'm a fighter, you pest. It's what I do! No, martial artists face other martial artists, not creatures of the night. You could have been killed. I didn't ask you to mommy me, kid. Stop calling me kid! I'm 19, you dolt! Guys, come on. We're all supposed to be friends here. Speak for yourself. So I guess we're not comrades? Somebody like you pestering me every chance she gets, who needs enemies? Well, excuse me for caring about the well-being of my friends! I didn't ask for your sympathy, let alone what I wanted from somebody like you! This is getting bad. Alex, Ibuki, come on, enough! Don't say something you'll regret! <sighs> Whatever. I'm getting some air. Talk big, being ungrateful to your friends, and being a defensive jerk? Is that what you learned from your parents? No. You know why? Because my parents are dead! There! Now you're happy! My mother died giving birth to me. So I never even got to have a relationship with her. And my father? He died in the line of duty, serving in the United States Air Force! What the hell would someone like you know about family? You've never lost anything. Alex... I, I didn't know... I... Yeah. Well, it wasn't your business to bring it up. Wait! <sighs> hey, Buki, just leave him be. But I... I didn't... Alex always came off as a guy with an inner struggle inside him. What have I done? I'm not angry with either of you, but maybe you'd both better cool off for a while. I sure wish Yang was here. He's better at dealing with stuff like this than me. Alex, you couldn't be more wrong. I get that you lost your parents. But Ibuki never even got to know hers. As stubborn as you both are, you're more alike than you think. I hope someday you both realize that. Smooth. Real smooth, Al. Blowing up in front of your friends like that. 
Oh, it's you again. Huh? You're that kid from earlier. You shouldn't run in hallways, kiddo. Sorry again! That little fella. Oi, Kyo! Nandayo, Benny. I know you're worried about Yuki, but try and stay focused. Don't drop your guard or you might go missing next. Maybe I want who's done this to try it. Easy, man. Suman. No worries, just try not to bring your frustration to the ring. Benny Maru is right. We've got a good while till our fight starts. How can you be so calm, Chizuru? As part of the Yata clan, we have sacred bonds with the Kushinadas. Her being one of the last sacrificial maidens of the Orochi. What do you mean, we? The Kusanagis and the Yasakanis also share this bond. I can sense her presence is safe, but where she is is unknown. It's as if a pawn piece on a chessboard was removed. You sure she's still alive? Look within yourself and sense her. You'll then understand. It's a bit fuzzy, but but it's her. She's asleep. But <coughs> the image fade out. You all right, man? I saw her. She's unconscious, but unharmed. That's good. Not all is lost. Sanctuary. Remain there and await my orders. Yes, sir. Is today the promised day? Yes. On this day, I shall open the heavens and lead the people to salvation. I've already chosen my acolytes to lead us to Paradise. And what of that young man, Alex? He's made his choice. His fate is his own. Very well. I'll make my leave. And so... The stage is set. Welcome, fight fans, to the semi-finals of the Salvation World Tournament. No more breaks from here, folks. By order of our tournament sponsor, it's our grand show. Winners of the next two fights will face off immediately for the final round, making it to the semi-final round. Team SF, the Third Strikes, Team Japan, and the AOF team. The first match shall be Team SF versus AOF team. Likewise, I've trained hard since we last clashed. You know that wasn't me. I know, but being that close to death, I... Forget it. Yes. A point battle then? Sure. Let's see how our friends fare against each other. Point battle! Send forth your first combatants!
Chen Li's young, the self-proclaimed strongest woman in the world. Hmm, I haven't used that title since my debut in the second Street Fighter tourney. Either way, I'd heard the rumors at the time. Now I'm putting your title to the test. Come on, baby. Careful who you're testing on, honey. Chun Li Yang versus King. Ready? Fight! Both fighters have gone into a series of kicks. Neither one can seem to hit the other. Not a bad start. So, she's a Muay Thai kickboxer. Good thing I've got experience in battling this style. Venom strike! Come again! Spinning bear kick! Tornado kick! Chun-Li's having trouble landing a hit. Whoever can land the block will be the victor. <laughs> 